Cheating orbs are back. Yes, they've packed their parts and headed for the city by the bay. From the designer to the science fiction horror epic Manhunter New York, Sierra introduces its latest futuristic 3D adventure, Manhunter San Francisco. By order of the Alien Orb Alliance, you've been selectively hired as a manhunter. Your goal? to track and monitor subversive human activities. Aided by authentic on-screen maps of San Francisco and a personal mini-computer, you will enter a post-Holocaust world of deadly arcade sequences, creepy close-ups, and eerie visual effects. Only you can determine our planet's bleak future by playing Sierra's latest in the Manhunter series. You leave more than just your heart in San Francisco. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunday, Twitch peoples. This is uh this is a late one. Not on not Sierra Saturdays this week, but Sierra Sundays. Had some stuff going on yesterday, but uh I'm I'm back, I'm here, and um I'm playing Manhunter 2, San Francisco, finally, after putting it off for um let's see, one, two Three, four. I've been putting it off for about four weeks, I think. I think it should have chronologically come between Leader Suit Larry 2 and... No, between Leader Suit Larry 2 and uh, Space Quest... Or, I'm sorry, between Police Quest 2 and Space Quest 3. Um, so three weeks. I, I, should have, I should have played three weeks ago. But I kept putting it off, so... And you're going to see why, because... Uh, this game... But I'm finally playing it today, getting it out of the way, <clears throat> so I can end the 80s on a high note next week with Quest for Glory 1. But this is a low note. This is, uh, this is Manhunter 2 San Francisco, the sequel to Manhunter New York. Uh, this game was released in 1989 for the Amiga, Atari ST, Macintosh, and of course our favorite MS-DOS. That's what we're playing today. And despite coming in um, at uh, you know, in 1989, uh, when Sierra had already gone full steam with its um, uh, SCI Sierra Creative Interpreter engine, which you've seen some of for the last few weeks, this game used uh, the AGI engine, the Adventure Game Interpreter, their previous engine, and it was the last game to use the AGI engine. And um, I guess, you know, they had already had it in production at that point. Like, who knows? It, it probably was running late or something. You know, all that quality assurance, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, this came out sort of in the midst of, uh, you know, Sierra's uh, SCI era and sort of landed with a thud. It was, as with the first game, it was created by a Washington state-based developer called Everywhere, which was which is uh, the um, studio of the Murray siblings, Dave Barry and Dee Dee Murray. They are the uh, you know the writers, programmers, and artists behind the two Manhunter games. I, I talked a lot about them on the Manhunter New York episode. But, uh, yeah, they made this one as well. And before I get into it, there was actually supposed to be a third one. There was supposed to be 
a Manhunter 3 London, which you will see some hints for. Um, this game sort of alludes to it. And again, this game ends on a cliffhanger that was never resolved because Manhunter 3 London never came out. And it was something that sort of got... It got brought up here and there over the years, but it never really went anywhere. And I did some research on this, and the latest and you know the most recent sort of discussion on a prospective Manhunter Three that I was able to find uh, was circa 2008 on the Sierra Gamers forum. Uh, from everywhere's Mike Murray, who's the the son of Barry Murray and uh, nep nephew of Dave Murray. Uh, thanks, thank you for the the sub dual screen vision. And is this Manhunter Three in London just it's just become Walsh Dogs Legion? Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> what that one's in London, right? They had one in San Francisco and one in London. What was the what wasn't the first one? Uh, Chicago. Yeah, it was almost. If it had been New York, it would have been like Manhunter, but hackers. <laughs> but no, this is obviously a very different game. But uh, I want to read you sort of what uh, was said at the time uh, by Mike Murray on the Sierra Gamers forum, and he says somebody asked about it. Somebody asked about it. So, again, circa two thousand eight. Somebody asks, whatever happened to Manhunter 3? And he replied to them to say, this is a topic I have long wondered about, and I could never get a straight answer out of my dad or uncle. This thread certainly makes them sound like jerks, because people are like, what the hell, how come they never did it? Freaking lay that at the feet of Sierra, man. Uh, and he says, I know that my family has the highest respect for Ken Williams, Sierra's president and co-founder, and I regret how things ended. However, I can offer a bit of clarity in a few areas. I do know that it was not everywhere who said that there were disagreements with the direction of the series with Ken Williams, which I guess is something that has come up. It is our belief that it was the result of standard internet speculation in combination with uh, another Sierra Gamer user's theory that disagreement simply meant that a business deal was not reached. Also, Everywhere seriously pursued Manhunter 3 about 10 years ago, which would have been 1998, but Sierra was going through changes post Ken Williams era. <laughs> That's an understatement. And they were not interested, nor would they release the rights to the series. The project fell through, but I can see how this could be translated into, quote, disagreements. So fast forward, Everywhere decides to get out of the game business to explore various side projects, which I covered in my Manhunter New York episode, but over the course of the last 10 years, we've periodically toyed with returning to Manhunter 3. A thought that never really died, but never made any progress either, which is as good as dead. Attempts were made to get in discussion with Sierra again, but they always failed, until April 2008, which I presume is when this is. After encouraging discussions with Sierra, we have been developing a prototype game featuring Day 1 of Manhunter New York. To find out if uh, day one of Manhunter New York, I don't know what that means. To find out if our concept currently on paper is actually fun to play by today's standards, which it's not, I assure you. While keeping the soul of the original, unfortunately, after ten years, we are we were finally making progress. Then last week, Sierra's pending Doom was announced. The future of Sierra is unclear. Despite what happens, the momentum has started and the demo is in progress. We will complete the prototype, but the future hinges on what happens to Sierra or whoever ends up with the rights to Manhunter after the dust settles. And I believe this would have been like when Vivendi like shuttered the label, right? I, I, I think it would have been, if, if I were a call, that sounds about right. Um, so if there's anyone left, who cares? April 2008 is the first time since 1989 that a new Manhunter is in development. Not a full game, just a proof of concept at this point, but that's better than nothing, right? I'm interested in hearing any thoughts or feedback. Feel free to email me, and thank you for all the kind words on this site. It provides a lot of motivation and inspiration. When the time comes, I will be back looking for some input on what you guys think of the demo. This demo never came out. Uh, this never went anywhere. And uh, I actually tried to email. I tried to reach out to Mike Murray. I could not get a hold of him. His email address is um, not working. His everywhere email address. Like I couldn't. Um, I couldn't get in touch with anybody because I was going to follow up on this. Um, and I have no idea who owns Manhunter. Um, I would assume. I mean, Sierra. The Sierra brand is owned by Activision, so I don't know. I don't know, THQ Nordic, I don't know why they would, uh, 
unless the brand got sold to them or something. I have no idea. Uh, but I have no idea where the rights currently lie. And yeah, Wazi, it is Sunday. Yeah, I had some stuff going on yesterday, so I'm doing this a little late, so it's Sierra Sundays this week. So, apologies. But the good news is I'm finally getting to Manhunter 2. Um, now, beyond that little kind of non-starter uh, discussion of Manhunter 3, that's pretty much all I have in terms of kind of history lesson here this week. Um, everything that needed to be said about this series was really said in the Manhunter 1 um, uh, episode. So... I suppose I will just, I'll just get to it here. Um, now, this game, as you will see, it's very much just an extension of Manhunter 1. It's, it's really no different. Before, before we get into it, I'm going to recap. I'm going to recap a little bit here. Um, for all you people who, you crazy people who are like, for some reason, like, yes, I want to see Manhunter 2. You're nuts. But Manhunter 1, for those of you who missed it, it is the story of a, a weird Blade runner -y man in an Orwellian world who hunts criminals because, because uh, some, some eyeballs, some eyeball alien overlords tell him to, and they rule the world now, so what they say goes. So you have to go hunt down some people and, you know, whatever. You investigate some murders. And the, your, your guy's name is Poop and Threadbare. He is the uh, descendant or or um, or or ancestor of Bob and Threadbare from Loom, depending on really which way you look at this weird alternate 2004 universe that Manhunter takes place in. But yeah, so in the first game, he flushes himself down the toilet. That really happens. It looks like that. And then um, he he investigates. He finds some some dead bodies that all look weird and screwed up. And it's really violent for a game of that time. And they all have these these p. They all have a p carved into their heads, and uh, whoops, because they were killed by a guy named Phil Cool. That's the main villain of the game, Phil Cool. As as you see, this guy's trying to warn us, but too late. And Phil Cool looks kind of like Dad. He's a real bad guy. He's He's an arch villain right there. All right, so you don't mess with him. And he, uh, you know, he, you know, as you're pursuing him, you go through a bunch of stupid mazes and play mini games because that's what happens in Manhunter and it's horrible. And then you finally, you know, you beat Phil Cool, and then all of by blowing up the Statue of Liberty, and then all your dudes, your cult dudes, are celebrating, and they're like, yeah. And then Phil Cool blows up everybody, and miraculously misses you, and you chase him off to San Francisco and that's where this game picks up so now that you're all caught up uh it's time for Manhunter 2 San Francisco let's see um start it up here and here we go. Thank you for the cheer, AR Dust. I did have a good Saturday, a restful Saturday. But now it's Sunday. It's Sierra Sunday. And we're going to use the last of my MIDI enhanced AGI uh, patches for, I don't know, quote unquote superior sound. Uh, not using a joystick. Don't need to center anything. So, you know, whatever. And here's September 4th, 2004, New York City. And that there's Phil Cool, and there's Poop and Thread Bear, uh, out going right after him. Here I am on an alien ship that I can barely fly. It was just a few days ago that I was forced to become a manhunter for the orbs of New York City. Soon a trail of blood led me to a ruthless killer. I'm now chasing him west as we descend into a new day. He has killed too many. I cannot let him get away. All right. So there's the sun. It's looking very well animated. <laughs> And there they go. Up. Oh. They're just just going around the half dome there. And here it is, Manhunter, San Francisco. There's that sweet, memorable Manhunter theme song. 
What do you know? Yeah, this was a Sierra game. This is a pretty weird one. Look at these, look at these, these, these hot credits. It's really getting you in the mood. It's very cinematic. All right, here we are. San Francisco, looks about, that looks about right. Oh, and there's Phil Cool. There he is. Ha <laughs> ha, what's he up to? I don't know, he's gonna, he's gonna blow up the arcade. And, uh, you know, no, no real handle on perspective here. That ship is like the size of a building. And how did Chunks just get knocked off of, uh, buildings and dystopias? I don't know. All right. So here we are. We're starting the game. Yep. San Francisco. <sighs> Here we go. Uh, look at that guy. This is guy peeking out, being like, what is going on here? Well, poop and threadbare, that's what's going on here. Phil Cool definitely just runs a hot sauce empire in an alternate universe. What is he? Is he is he uh Is he just Billy Mitchell? <laughs> look at this. I killed the wicked witch with my ship. How about that? Well, what do we got here? Oh, Manhunter, 003, Peter Brown. Oh, my favorite former one-up and GameSpot editor. Um, so now I'm going to steal his identity. So cool. Nobody will ever know. And then, oh, look, the Manhunter assignment device, my favorite little laptop. Great. Okay. Um... Well, <clears throat> let's look up Peter Brown. See where he lives. Well, he lives on Lombard. All right, cool. I probably walked by that apartment. All right, whoops. Okay. Well, now it's time to uh, time to go to my new my new digs. It's right here. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Look at this. Look at this pad. Look at that. I got a hammock. It's too early to go to bed. What do I is is that it? Is the is the cost of living so awful even in alternate 2004 San Francisco that you can't even afford a bed? God damn. What do we got here? We got a. Uh, we got Coit Tower spewing blood. Okay, we got the Transamerica Pyramid. Is there anything else? Did I... Transamerica Pyramid and... Oh. I thought there were like... Aren't there three? Aren't there like three places? Ugh. Maybe not. Well, what do I got here? Look at that sexy guy in the mirror. Oh. Rub Jewel of Heaven. Okay, great. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> the view is like living in a world where Slayer plays no matter where you are. Hell yeah. And... It uh, as far as Sierra Games as a whole, how far along are we? We are, um, so we started in 1984 with King's Quest 1. We are now at the tail end of 1989 here. This is, what, like my 17th episode? I figure I can get about 60 episodes worth of this. 60, 60-ish, depending on what I want to do at the end. Uh, so there's quite a lot. You know, once Sierra ramped up, sort of in the late 80s and into the 90s they just they just became like a just, just an assembly assembly line just a machine um especially when they got into the point and click era um um they they 
you'll see once we get to like the 90s there a lot more games start coming out in the 90s so there are a lot there yeah they made a lot they probably made about 75 adventure games if you count all the remakes and things like that there's quite quite a few um i mean they were pretty much i mean they kind of ruled the pc market in uh at that time so yeah there's a lot of these so let's see what where what how did i get here so i got my note and now i've got to use the stupid tracker to uh you know lock on a target bank of canton chinatown okay so as with the first manhunter we observe these people which are these little symbols right here entering an area we try to figure out what the hell they're doing and then follow their tracks to inevitably find dead bodies and solve puzzles and do stupid mini games so uh, here's they're in like a scuffle three guys there all right so somebody's probably dead now these guys are going elsewhere. Then uh, now we get into a warehouse. Guess what? Look at that. That looks like a dumb mini game layout, doesn't it? Well, boy howdy, let me tell you. Oh, uh, is Leisure Larry Wet Dreams Don't Dry going to be the last episode? I don't know. I'm sort of trying to focus on things Sierra actually had a hand in. That was not... Like, the, the the thing I could make a case for, I think, is the Gabriel Knight 20th Anniversary Edition. Because that is a remake of a... By the creator of a game Sierra developed and published. So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I have some plans. I have some loose plans for the end. Yeah, so now this guy's going into the ferry building. He did something up there. And, uh... <clears throat> boy, this is... This is kind of... Freaking slow. <clears throat> now there's... Oh, there's the Embarcadero. Okay, there's a fountain there. And he's gonna go... Go uh, flush himself down the fountain. I don't know. Oh, he's going to go over there. Go inside the little hallway. Whatever that is. And that's it. Target movement ends at this point. I, I may, may might play Wet Dreams Don't Dry. Yeah. Are you familiar with it? It's actually a pretty good game. It's it's not... They actually... they That is was made by people who kind of understand the soul of Leisure Suit Larry. It's, 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 I consider that Leisure Suit Larry 8. Uh, okay. And now, so now I need to, like, now I gotta, like, travel. Um, I wanna go to the bank. I believe it's down here somewhere. Let's see. Bank. Is this the bank? Oh, it is. There we go. Boom. And I'm going to go in here. Oh, look, it's the Beagle Boys. They're at it again. Oh, oh a battering ram. It looks like a stick to me. Looks like they got all of Scrooge's money again. Um, let's see, what do we got? We got a safe here. It's empty. Uh-oh. And we got it. We got a body. Oh, we got a newspaper. It lives. Scientist creates pig, monkey, mutant. We got the National Enquirer here. Reckless scientist uh, Noah G. Possibility. To, okay, well, so we got a name. Noah G. Okay. Yeah, AR Dust. Yeah, the city layout. Um, it's true to life. Yep. It's true to every piece of fiction. They entered San Francisco via the friggin' Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> so you know they got that going for them um let's see there's a note here greetings fellow dragons the r3 is the l1 to r4 
Todd. Alright, well. Now we know what PlayStation buttons to hit. Cool. Let me look at this dude. Oh my god. What is going on here? It's a dead man. There's no P in his head, though. Uh, oh god, that, that sounds weird. There's no P letter P carved into his forehead. So. But he does have this dragon symbol. So. We know that. Um. Look at this. Bat vomit on the door. What if we reverse that? We get Tad Timoray. Timov. Tad Timov. The D is lowercase for some reason. Because, you know, we probably couldn't figure out how to do it too good. Yeah, that dude's got that dude's suffering from some 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 Daventry jaundice right there. So let's see. Um, we want to get info on. Oops, on Tad Timov. Because anytime you find a name in this game, you want to put it in your computer to see what comes up. Oh, he lives at Broadway in Columbus. Oh, head of bank security. Great. All right. Well. I don't think he's out of anything anymore. <clears throat> hmm. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go over here, too. What's up? What's up here? Uh, yeah, that's uh, another dude. Oh, we got a fang in his neck. Grab that. Oh, we got a laundry receipt. No doubt for Laura Bow. And then, uh, then what? Can I look at it? Is there anything else I can look at here? Can I look at, oh, look at that, that dragon symbol. Um. A dragon symbol again. And yeah, this, this game is super grim and gruesome, and these games are, yeah, for sure. Both of them are unusually violent for uh, Sierra games. Although, by this point, they were doing some pretty graphic deaths for Roger Wilco in Space Quest, so, you know. I mean, not a lot of close-ups. That was more for comedic effect, but this is pretty, um, pretty dark game. So, whoops. Oh, wait, no. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. So now, let's see. I want to go to... A warehouse Is it here no warehouse yeah the default cursor is just a morph ball you know what let me save my game and oh look look at all these uh these um skips i have here oh boy look at these mini games you'll especially like that last one because i haven't been able to get through it but we're gonna save right here and let's see let's go to this door oh look look we got poop sickles perfect for pooping threadbare right here all right we got a bloody clump of coarse hair look at this it came in from new york too uh, my favorite poop sickles okay and um and now um Guess what? It's a stupid mini game. I have to. Oh look! I have to friggin' here. Oh, this is a death screen where they're like, "Oh, oh you screwed up." Guess what? Life hack. Our tape sequences will now be easy. Guess what? They're still stupid and suck and are bad. And I have to go and get down to this this dumb um. stupid ass door and I can't get down there because these guys always trying to hit me and it's I hate it oh man maybe I'll get through it this time maybe oh look at that oh look at that 
got to hide in the boxes. It's Metal Gear. Oh, God. Oh, no. I was right there. Oh, what a horrible... What a horrible game. Oh, no. Uh, so... So, yeah, that's... This is, um... This is the reason I hate this game. Oh. Look at that. Oh, I got through it. Yes. Okay. Now we gotta get some pins. We gotta... Oh, it's the sexy, uh... Sexy orb wall calendar. And it's Harley Quinn's mallet. Great. And it's got, like, a fish on it. That's important later. I don't know if you can tell that that's a fish. But that's a fish. At least it's supposed to be. I guess it looks pretty good if you if you know what to look for. Like, yeah, yeah there we go. Oh. So. We got that. And, uh. Let's see. And there's, a, there's some blood here. Oh, Zach. Me hurt, me got it. Traitor. Mike, me at Din. Mick or Mike. Whatever, whatever it is. Oh, we got a pencil here. I don't need... I don't need a pencil, though. I have a computer. This is 2004, everybody. Um, and now... Guess what I gotta do? I gotta friggin' I gotta go back out. Oh god. I gotta not get killed by these things again. Well, that was much easier. Okay, cool. Alright, back here to the poop sickle box. Um Uh now okay, let's see. Where do I want to go next? Fairy building, right? Yeah. Now we'll go in here. See what's up here. This poster on the right. Attention, return the viewer. Special reward by order of the Orb Alliance. Like, nothing makes sense in this game. Everything's just like a riddle. Oh, and these doors can't be opened. Great. Okay, well... Off somewhere else, then. Um, let's see. Barcadero Fountain. That's where I want to go. And now, um, I have to... I have to do this thing where I... I, I... I try to avoid going in the drain. And get in the door. I want to go in that door. But I... I but then I hit the side and I fall out of the pool. This game's stupid. And, uh... And I want to get in the door. And, um... It's, uh... It's nonsense. Thank you for the sub, Joshua. Well, I mean, thank you for Anonymous Gifter for gifting the sub. Yeah, it, it, nobody, you don't, I barely understand what half these minigames are. The thing is that you, you're given no, like, instruction, and you're just sort of, it's sort of just like, what, what am I, what does the game want from me? And you have to lose a few times before you really understand how it's supposed to work. Right? Right now, like, I, all I can do, literally the only thing I can do to control myself is to hit enter. Right? And it, I don't, I don't really understand. Oh, see? And it's randomly, um, it just randomly put me in the door. So, now I have to, um, punch out all these rats. Right? I, and move, um, to, like, the right. Slowly, for some reason, and then like kind of safe scum my way through it. Cause 
because that's how this works. This isn't even really like, I don't know, hard. Oh, they killed me. Too far ahead. They ate your face. Don't be dead. It ain't no race. Okay, well, shut up. Ah! Ah! Okay, well, guess what? Um, I can just, I can just skip it. You, you, you get to the tunnel and you get in this room. And now that wall says, me, me be man again someday. And, uh, so, you know, I mean, that's, that doesn't make any sense. We have his license. His last name's Stone. Um, it's not the way licenses look in California, but okay. Uh, and now let's let's look at him. Whoa, look at that. It's a crazy, weird monster man. We'll get that. Remedy. That would be a good item if this were Final Fantasy. But it's not. Um, and we know that his last name, again, is Stone, right? And now we can go out of the, the rat tunnel. What if I want to go back this way? Will rats come after me? No? Okay, they're done. And yeah, I don't, I don't know why anything... I don't know why the rats one-hit kill. Because it, it's annoying, that's why. <laughs> um, okay, and now I need to use my tracker. Um, actually, oh no, I need to, uh, the guy, um, Stone, Mick Stone, because I got the name Mick earlier, and so look, uh, oh, his job is an experiment volunteer, so no wonder he's dead. Great. So now we use the tracker and we want to uh Oops. We got to track somebody else. I believe it's the guy, the second guy down there, I think. I think I targeted the other one. Do all the games take place in the same, the Sierra Cinematic Universe? <laughs> I don't know. All right, now this dude's going to, again to the warehouse. I think I got the right guy, yeah. Um, where's he gonna go? Because he should open a new location for me. Yeah, the Sierra Cinematic Universe, maybe. I mean, if we take everything to be, um, all the little in-jokes, uh, if we take them kind of seriously... You know, I mean, you see Leisure Suit Larry in the the airport waiting room, and in, 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 you know, in the in the to board the airplane in Police Quest Two. You uh, you know, you can accidentally crash land in Daventry in Space Quest. In Space Quest One. Um, Rosella is a barber in Leisure Suit Larry Two. So that just connects. That connects all of those. Oh, Roger Wilco. You see him sitting in the bar in Leisure Suit Larry 3 in Passionate Patty's Piano Bar. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of little in-jokes like that. Sure. Uh, and there's gonna there's more. You know, you'll you'll see them. I mean, Manhunter is the the one that doesn't have any weird references. But most of them do. But there's a, there's always like some plug for some Sierra game, you know. Oh, Batman! Yeah, the Batmobile. He's in uh, 
the Batmobile is in Batman, yeah, and by by proxy, Batman is in King's Quest too. So that must mean the DC Extended Universe is part of Sierra Canon. So yeah, you got it. Okay. And now we want to go to that Hyde Street Pier that, that guy was just at. I believe it's up here. And it would be up here. It would be the, the, the pier. Uh, let's see. Oh, look. We got medical supplies. That's pretty generic. And then we can go... We'll go over here over there's a, ladder. Yeah, there's a ladder okay and then uh well, there's there's a there's a, there's a pipe in the wall over here what what's this oh this is always a good idea in games yeah you know, nothing bad ever happens here uh, i have not tried typing in any sierra creators names in my laptop in this game yet they didn't work uh, in the first game, though, so. Uh-oh. Yummy. I guess he doesn't like cultist robes or whatever, whatever bone that was. Why do all bones look like that? Like, what bone is that that... Which bone is that supposed to be? Is that like a like a like a leg bone or an arm bone or something? I don't know. All right, so let's back up here. Do San Francisco sewage pipe usually contain monsters? I'm gonna say yes, probably. I would say that's not a bad guess, just in in real life. Uh... Let's see. And now we want to go to Tad Timov's apartment. I gotta figure out where it is. Um, I think it's... Oh, I was gonna say it's dead, one below. Oh, look, we got nude girls. Sweet. All right. And here we are. There's the apartment. Oh, look, this ferocious dog. Oh, he just needs a cuddle, though. Hell no. What's up, dog? He just runs out of the fireplace and murders you? So. Oh, that was so disgusting. He wouldn't even show it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, let's let's just not mess with that, then. Oh. The orbs say, report. Report suspect's name. You've had sufficient time. So, let's say Nick Stone. Okay. And then, uh, your course being processed, return home immediately. Wait there for further orders. Great. 30 minutes later. Well, gotta go to sleep in my hammock. Yes, sirree. Oh, a little, little eyeball. Oh, this time they got two eyes. Look at that. Attention, Manhunter. Boat burning on Pier 5. Investigate. Alright. Guess I gotta do that. Alright. Tracker's locked on target. Location, Pier 5. Okay. Cleo Larry and Phantasmagoria. That'd be a wild crossover. Cleo Larry getting murdered by the entity. <laughs> uh, the death screen isn't a game dev telling you to get good anymore. This is a bit of a weird, different game. This is this is unusual uh, in a lot of ways for Sierra's games. We will go back to those funny death messages uh, next week and for the foreseeable future. Yeah, these games are some of the biggest oddities in Sierra's library. These these two, Manhunter One and Two. 
here. Quite bizarre. Oh, the temple. Great. And we're going to go in here. Gonna... I don't know, fight some ninjas. Then uh, that's it. Okay, well. Hmm. Well. Guess now we gotta go to Pier 5, right? Wait, that's not it, is it? No. It would be over here, right? Yeah. Look at that. I know what the pier looks like. Let's see. Let's get on here. Oh, no, my God. It's another dead rat man. We get that muzzle. And, um... And he's got, like, a missing finger, right? Right? But guess what? In my inventory, I got this fang. Oh, look at that. It's perfect fit. Thanks, developers, for, for telling me what I saw. All right. And now I am going to... Guess what? Now that I have... Um, Now that I have uh, that muzzle, guess what? I can solve this dog puzzle. Oh no. We gonna get him with the muzzle. So the way that the map works, oh, he runs back into the fireplace, and that's it. The way the map works, locations open up when you track people, and, and they're, you're watching them go around and do stuff. New locations will open up as that happens, so you'll kind of know where you need to go based on what you observe in the tracker. So let's see. What do we got here? We got a camera. All right, cool. Take some pictures. That's That's important document all the evidence and then um what do we got here heaven and vision okay well there we go i wonder if that's a clue hmm and we got like a cool cool statue all right now uh go to the temple there we go I'm going to save my game right here. And, um... I was, uh... I was not kidding about the ninjas. Okay... Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> so, all I can do is rotate clockwise and counterclockwise based on, um, based on, you know, I mean, where I'm facing. Wow, it's really annoying that I have to sit through this whole thing again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oops. I want to restore my game, not save it. Oh, what do you got? Boom. Freaking iron monkey over here. <laughs> Blocking everything. All right. Ninja's got nothing on me. And of course, obviously, I mean, the Buddha raises that's what happens right 
All right, let's see. So there's there's all these busts, right, that you look at. And there was, uh, if you'll remember, there was a, uh, I have, um, where is it? This cloth says, rub jewel of heaven. Okay. And, and, uh, So these busts all have words on them, right? Is it this one? Yeah. So that says heaven, right? I have a cl the cloth again. We use the cloth on that. And oh my god, look at that. He's so shocked that he gives me an F. Or a P and a ruler. What do you think that means? F or P and ruler. What am I supposed to interpret that clue is? Tell me what you think. Now also, I have this dragon note. And it says, greeting fellow dragons, the R3 is the L1 to R4. So, R3, castle, gateway, and this fourth one on the right. Wait, no, one, two, three. This is the fourth one. And hell. Castle, gateway, hell. That's important. Well, you'll see. So here we are. My dude is just like, oh, let me look in this dragon's mouth. That really makes a lot of sense. So what we'll do right here. And then, oh no, he doesn't see the ninja sneaking up on him because guess what? They're ninjas. Uh oh. Now what? So now uh, I am moving slowly to the right automatically, and I have to, I'm sort of wobbling around uh, this bridge above this acid, and I have to mash. Um, right and left to like compensate and adjust my position because I will wobble up and down uh, and I need to just keep myself on the bridge as far as much as I can until I get over to the other side and look at him look at this wacky again as with Manhunter 1 like my guy like the, there's such a weird sort of uh tonal whiplash in this game with all this like super crazy violence and then just all this goofy ass like slapstick it's very silly wah 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 ay 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 okay alright everything's okay now I don't know what he's trying to do to that guy there I know this dude's like, yo, I got this dragon symbol. Alright, so you put your hand up, and I put the dragon symbol on it. So this is these people are being branded with that dragon symbol I saw on the hand of all these all these corpses. And he's like, oh my god, look at that. I'm official now, I'm part of the cult. You know, my guy's like, alright, well, um, I don't really want to. I don't actually want to do this. But now he's like, your turn. Yep, you. But I was trying to run past him and be like, screw you! And grab one of these scrolls and then get the hell out of here. Whoa. Jumping out the window. 
rolling around like a little roly poly guy. West is our only chance. That's what the scroll says. Okay, great. I want to get out of here. And then I think I want to go in here. And then what's up with this guy? Now, remember what um, the, the, the F, the or, the P, and the, the ruler? The ruler is supposed to represent inches. And and the the uh, it, so it's f, f or four p inches four pinches and uh so so uh now we 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 do the the, the pot with the heaven symbol from that other clue which is that and we go one Whoops, oh jeez. Well, hopefully I didn't screw that up. One. Thank God the cursor doesn't stay on the thing. Two. Three. Four. And, and then smoke the pipe. That's three. That's four. Oh, I screwed up. No, okay. Let's try that again. One. Two. I was curious whether that would kill me, and it didn't. Three. And four. Okay. Oh my god. A woman's face appeared in the smoke. What nonsense is this? And she's turned into a monster. Okay. This is a clue for later. It makes no sense whatsoever here. And now a single tear. Oh, look, he's crying. And he wants me to take the statue to Daddy from Ming. Okay, well... Uh, great. And then, um, um, now I have another name that I can, I can enter here. And it is, uh, <clears throat> West was not a direction. It's the guy's last name. And look, he's another experiment volunteer. What a crazy thing. I wonder why he's dead. Well, let's see. Now I've had that, my, my vision on my, my spirit quest, my, my, my whatever, whatever that was. Oh, look, scum. It's just like Maniac Mansion. It's scum. Uh, now I have my vision. And now I have to have to, from smoking the pipe, and now I have to figure out what the hell that means. Let's see, and I want to go to where is it? The wax museum. Well, can't get in this door. Let's look at this guy. Oh look, he has a fish. Guess what? I have a mallet with a fish on it. So I'm just going to smash smash it into that guy. Look, they got they got Indiana Jones in this world. Look at that. Look at that uh the poster. Nice. Right, oh cool. We got like a little exhibit. January 2002. Two planets unite. Okay. There they are uniting. Okay. Looks more like an invasion to me. Uh, to help the people of Earth use the riches of their planet for the good of all. All right. <clears throat> the 
the end. Oh, great. That's it. That's Manhunter 2, San Francisco. All right. Oh, good. We've got all this. Oh, Earth welcomes its friends with open arms. Oh, really? With few exceptions, its people gladly accept orb rule. All right, that's July 2002. Okay, all right. Great. And then, oh, a typical American fan. Look at this. Life on Earth is improving each day. The benefits of orb rule will be apparent to the people of Earth very soon. All right, so that's, you know, that's that's pretty creepy, right? Uh, let's see. Let's climb up this chimney. Oh, it's Zach's house. All right, well, what do we got here? We got nothing. Zach is not here. Let's, let's leave here. And wasn't Indiana Jones a rival this year at this point? Uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the graphic adventure, did come out in 1989. Yeah, so... So, yeah. It was around, around now. Actually, no. You know what I need to do? Oh, whoops. I need to use my, uh... Well, I need to save my game first. But uh, I need a track, and uh, I need to tag this other guy on Pier 5. And then we'll see where he goes. So they're, uh, they're beating up somebody on the pier. Oh, did I pick up Mario Maker 2? Not yet. I need to move all my Nintendo Switch stuff to a, uh, a bigger... I have a, a bigger SD card. I need to copy everything, too, because I'm running up against my limit. I just haven't done it yet. All right, so they just beat up somebody on the pier. We saw that part before, but we've tracked this other guy, right? Uh, they're moving along. Do to do to do. <clears throat> we are at the shop. I think I just tagged the right guy. I, I hope I did. <sighs> All right. So they're they're in the shop. They they didn't. This is new, right? I didn't see this last time. Let's see, all right. And they're just walking together, slow as molasses, off the screen, great. So now we're just walking down the street. This geographically very accurate San Francisco. And we're at the Transamerica Pyramid, and I happen to know that S stands for slave. Glad to see they're so well represented there. Just wandering around, you know, doing whatever it is they're doing. So they grab somebody and they getting out of here. And now. Let's see. Headed over here. Heading up, heading in here to a doctor's house. They're going to just go in here, just invite themselves right in. This guy's probably like, "What the who's in my house?" And they're like, "Yo, we brought you the slave," which is weird. So they're like, okay, cool, see ya. 
Hmm. So now they're, uh... Well, dude's going somewhere else. Oh, it's the laundry. I'm gonna find a nice dress to wear to the museum gala. Yep. And target movement into this point. Okay. <laughs> so. Let's go to, uh, let's go to that shop. This must be it, because it's the only thing here. All right, here at the shop. This dude investigating a finger. If you recall, one of those rat people we saw didn't uh, have a finger. Uh, and we can't do anything here yet. But we can just go over here to, oh, there we go, the Transamerica Pyramid. And there's all this debris falling, falling out of the pyramid because, you know, pretty awful. Let's go look further. There's a broken chain over here. And, uh... We'll go up. Where are we? Go up, go up here. This guy is look, obviously having some problems. There's a gun here. I don't need it, and it doesn't do anything. So, I'm not gonna take it. But, uh... Now I, I gotta go save this guy. It's like slave dude. This is nonsense. This whole thing is nonsense right here. Ah. Uh. basically have to like uh, th this is just like a garbage arcade sequence and I'm gonna skip it you have to move around you're trying to rescue this guy right so I when you skip it he's like oh my god that's what I look like and he's happy and he runs off and then you run off too and then everybody's cool okay so now, we're gonna go to the doctor's house. Which I think is up here. Let's see. Doctor's house? No. Doctor's house, all right, here we go. So here, we wanna go in here. Uh-oh, another body. Uh-oh, there's that P. Looks like Phil Cool is struck again. And there's this. There's like an S carved into his arm. Right? And, uh... Yeah, it looks like now I have to, uh... Find Phil Cool. And he's wearing the same gray clothes as a, a slave. He has an S on his arm, so S must be slave. Oops. Let's go on in here, and oh look, it's the doctor. There's a P right there, and speaking of P, look at that. It's a urine sample. Great, I, I love when people just leave urine samples laying around in their houses. Well, let's just go ahead and take that. Let's pour that in that flask real careful there. And let's just set that down as gingerly as possible. Okay, cool, great. Remedy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In San Francisco, yeah. You'll find somebody who wants that. Um, so let's see. Oh, he also has this card here. My friend, I discovered the orb's evil purpose. Earth must die for them to live. They must be stopped before it is too late. 
My life is in danger. They suspect that I have the card. I will deliver it to you as soon as possible. It is up to you and your friends to save mankind. My creations can help, but must be freed by an orb. You must reach hell, but all entrances are guarded. Only there can they be stopped. The orbs... It's an apostrophe before the S. That's wrong. It's a typo. It's... There should be no apostrophe. The orbs have a new helper. They call him Phil Cool, and he is dangerous. Be careful. God be with you. In Goring. I. So guess what? We had a newspaper clipping. Oh, Noah G. In Goring. Noah Goring. Well, guess what? Oh, look at that genetic research scientist. Checks out. Oh, he's on Montgomery. I think there was a GameStop on Montgomery we used to go to. Yeah, look, yeah, it's Dead Harrison Ford, you're right. <laughs> You'd love to make levels for a professional game journalist and consultant. I don't think that, uh, yeah, I don't know if, uh, <laughs> I don't know how, how, um, how, um, specifically I'd be able to critique level designs, like amateur level designs. Designing levels is hard. Um, I, I tried with Mario Maker 1. It's tough. It's, 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 it is not, even with, with such, uh, robust tools, it's not easy to design something that, that's good, right? It's I have respect for people who can do that well. Ah, uh, hi, Cryptic Seventeen. Yep, it's me. Oh boy. All right, so we're done at the doctor's house here, and we got Noah Goring's home address. But now we want to uh, chase this guy to the, the laundry. Where is it at? The laundry. All right. Let's go over here. This place is closed. Can't, uh... Can't do anything there. So, let's go to Dr. Goring's house. Scientist's house. Alright. So here we are. At, uh... Dr. Goring's house. Alright. Well, let's see. Let's look over here. There's a matchbook. Oh, there's a needle and thread. Look at that. White thread and a needle. And we got a matchbook. Oh, comments of the authors can be sent to everywhere. There's their address. Maybe try sending a letter to them. And asking why these games are so dumb. And where's Manhunter 3 also? How big of a donation will it take for me to do an entire stream of Applejack? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Give me, give me a thousand bucks. There. That's my standard answer for anything like that. Give me a thousand bucks. And can I look out the window, I think? Yeah. Yeah. So, let's see. Julius Castle. Remember, Castle Entrance Hell, right? Remember, Castle Gateway Hell. Quake Tower. And then uh, we got over here that everybody's favorite San Francisco landmark, Alcatraz, right? And then uh, now we can look at all these files and see what's going on here. We'll look at them chronologically. November 5th, 2002. Received orb directive. A better worker is needed in the harsh environment below. Humans tire and die much too quickly. My talents will finally be put to use. A glorious day indeed. Now we'll look at September 27, 2003. Eureka! After many failed experiments, the new rat slash dog slash human subject appear to have all the right qualities. 100 are being tested below. Confidence is high. We got January 7, 2004. Failure. Test subjects could not withstand unexpected dry heat encountered below. Orbs are angry. Must not fail again. Subjects loyal to the orbs to be released in the Fisherman's Wharf area. And finally, August 20th, 2004. What have I done? I've been a pawn in their evil plan. They're almost there. I must save mankind. But what can I do?
Oh, I know what I can do. I can, uh... I can do, uh, some, some, uh, some tracking. So, here's what we're gonna do. There's another person to track here. We track that second person, but then there is another person that they meet outside of the shop. And that's who we're ultimately going to track. God, imagine if a stream notification popped up for a $1,000 donation. It would be so good. Pl tons of streamers get ridiculous amounts of money from people. Um, I mean, I've seen... I mean, I don't know if I've seen something that high, but... Uh, you know, I mean, it happens for streamers. Hmm. Alright. Now this guy's gonna go to the shop, like I said. And then he meets someone. I think he comes down from up here, right? I think. Yeah, that's the guy I want to track. Yeah, see where he goes. <sighs> mm. So yeah, like I said, you know, you see this game is really, it's really no different in its execution than the original Manhunter. It's very much just the same kind of thing. It could have just been one long game, probably, you know. It's not like, I mean, there's no evolution the way that you've seen in some of the other Sierra games in the, in the series. Um, <clears throat> you know, even from like, I mean, I guess King's Quest 1 to 2 is a little bit, it, it's very similar as well. But that's the only real case where there's not, there's not a lot of, uh, design or visual evolution other than this everything else you know it's a pretty aggressive path i mean under two should have been dlc <laughs> it's just a dlc expansion <laughs> oh so now this guy's going again to the doctor's house. We gotta wait. I, I don't know why they make this take so freaking long. And I don't dare skip it because in the first Manhunter, you had to watch the whole thing in order for like the next destinations to stick, in order for everything to, to go correctly. You had to watch the entire thing. So I do not want to skip it. <clears throat> but this guy now, he's going to go to a new place. He's going to take me somewhere new with a new stupid puzzle. And it's the cable car barn. The car barn. So he is in this place with all these boxy things. And he's walking around. The freaking longest way he possibly can. Well, actually, there's a reason for that. It's showing me the path I have to take. But he goes up here. Goes over there. Up, oh, pulls a switch of some sort. And that, that door opens up. And now he's able to go up this way. <laughs> this is... You know, like the it, it's this is some engaging gameplay. This is it. It, it is, I guess, sort of conceptually interesting, uh, inter interesting to be like, okay, well, what what is it that I'm supposed to be sort of gleaning from this? Because this is giving you information, right? And then you use this to later solve a puzzle. Uh, so the idea is okay. The execution is a little weird. I mean, obviously, you know, like, these things are just, like, little boxy things. This is still in the era where, like, it's like, uh, a little boxy thing is representing this thing. So. Uh, 
All right, now that dude's running off. The guy we're tracking has not moved at all. And target movement ends at this point. All right. But now I can go to the cable car barn. Oops. Which is, I believe, down here. Now is it, oh, is it maybe up? Up one? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So let's see here. I want to go up here. And, uh, and there's some robots up here. Those are bad guys. Whoops. Hold on. I went too far there. And now what I want to do is jump on a car jump on a cable car and save my game here and as you can see here's the room where this guy uh, went previously and now oh I'm getting off this cable car and flipping this switch but guess what I screwed up. I think on easy they don't rush after you. They just are a persistent nuisance. So yeah. So now I go over here, hit the switch, and now I can. Oh god! Now I can run out of here and go up to this cable car and check this out posters for manhunter and uh manhunter london so if there had been uh, a third manhunter game that might have been that this this may have been the concept for the box art so but of course that never came to pass so see so you can see like london written in green here kind of I mean, I assume that's what that is. Sort of vaguely looks like it could be. Um, yeah, that, that never did come out. But... Look at this. Oh my god, it's another P. It's another... It's... It's Phil... Oh. 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 Phil Cool strikes again. Look at that. Another dragon tattoo. And we got uh, a note. Stop them. They have almost reached life. Bring us to hell and we will show you freedom. Beware of the service robots. Please hurry. So look at that. All that nonsense. Doesn't mean anything. Now... One thing to note here is that uh, Phil had an accomplice at uh, this place here. So I want to now go track the next guy. So we got to go through this again. Here's this. And then we've got to wait for them to leave. And then they go to the shop. Is this the boring one I've been putting off? Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's not necessarily well. It is kind of boring, but it's 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 not. It's it's more like kind of infuriating because of the mini games. Okay, now we want to tag that guy. There's just a lot of weirdness to these games. That that's all it is. 
um, that just isn't present in most of the other Sierra games. And you have to sort of like intuit these strange sequences like what I'm looking at here. Uh, so, all right. Now... Now they're going to go to... Uh, I think I had to wait for him to go to the doctor's house again, and then... Oh, they have to go here first. Oh my god, this takes forever. Oh... Yeah, conceptually, this is an interesting idea. You could... You could argue. It's just... <laughs> kind of weird within this engine. So now they do that, and then they go to the doctor's house, and then they go to the cable car, and, uh... <clears throat> I think I want to say this is one of the last, like, really annoying ones in the game. I think the ones on day three are all fast, if I recall. So now they do this. And they leave. And now I believe they go to the cable car barn. Yeah. So now another dude like shows up. Well, it's Phil and another Phil Cool and another dude, but you can't tag Phil Cool because then they, you know it would be too easy and the game would be over because you'd find him and he wouldn't be cool anymore. So now this guy's gotta go do this. I wish I had the option to just like review, you know, what you've seen. Um, instead of having to sit through the whole sequence again. All right. And so, now this guy shows up. Right, okay, and here's what I need to tag. There, that's the guy I need to tag. The, the, the like, sort of flashing dude next to him, the, the flashing red one, that's Phil Cool, right? I can't tag him, though. So now they've... They've killed that guy I found in the cable car, right? I already, I already found him. And now they are getting out of here. And, of course, they have to ride the stupid cable car, the world's slowest cable car. Out, and out, and out, and out, and out. And now, finally, this guy's going to go somewhere else. Well, oh, well, they kill, they kill these guys. Remember, I found, I found this, this slave corpse here, and I found the doctor back there earlier. So you're, what you're supposed to gather here is, oh, right, this is when, like, Phil and his accomplice went and killed them. And those are the guys I found earlier. That's what you're supposed to take from this. Now, the bad guy's name is actually Phil Cook, right? It's just that that scene I showed you in the first game where it's like he's re writing in a blade. It looks like cool, so I've all, I just call him Phil Cool. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's funnier. <laughs> but even then, like, the bad guy's name being Phil Cook. It's just like Bob Jones. You know, it's there's, it's, there's nothing... It's just like some normal-sounding, boring... It's like Seymour in Final Fantasy X. It's like, why is the guy named Seymour? It's it's stupid. It's, it's not even, like, a threatening thing. Okay. So now... 
Yeah, here, let me show you. Where is it? Hold on, I gotta find it. Is it that one? Yeah, see? He's like writing cool. Here he's writing cook. But that's, you know, he, he didn't get the whole thing before he died. But so it just like it says cool. <laughs> so that's why I do that. So now that I know where Phil Cool's uh, um, accomplice went. Oh, I, I've got to leave before I can travel. Um, great, great. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that's what happens when you run into a wall. Hitch a ride on the Reading Railroad. It's a Monopoly reference for all you people. Who don't like that game because it's dumb. Oh, and guess what? The orbs are like, you have sufficient time, report suspect's name. Guess what? I got no name. Your reply is being processed. Return home immediately. Wait there for further orders. 11 minutes later, I just hustled home. Get Jump in my hammock. Have some chill here. Day three, all right. Little eyeball man's coming to tell me what to do. And attention, Manhunter human on the sign at Ghirardelli Square. Investigate. Human on the sign. That's just such a weird way of putting it. All right. Well, let's see. Alert. Tracker's locked on target location, Ghirardelli Square. Gonna go over here, get some good-ass chocolate. All right. Great. Maybe kill a guy. <laughs> World's slowest victim or killer. All right, so this guy's running around. Oh no, we're gonna climb up here. What are the odds this is gonna be a really stupid mini game? I don't know. Odds are pretty good, I think. <laughs> Have some fun Saturday night, get some good ass chocolate, and then maybe kill a guy. <laughs> yep. Now look at this. There's like a little scuffle going on down there. <coughs> well, well, well. Now he's going to run over there. Do some planking. All right. Target movement ends at this point. Okay. And now... Uh, before I go to Ghirardelli, yeah, Ghirardelli Square, there is a private club here and private privute the what's in here i don't know oscar the grouch maybe we'll knock on the door and then this dude's like what up and then uh he murders me so that's, that's how that goes. It just pulls me right through that peephole. Okay. Must not have liked your looks. That is a hint. So I, I, I've got to disguise myself to get through there. Um, and then I want to go... Actually, back to... Where is it? Laundry. Where is the laundry? There it is. And it is now open. And then, hey, look at this. It's this woman. And But I have a laundry receipt for her. Okay, hey lady. Give me my laundry. So she says, okay, hold on. Okay. 
these little scenes of, of them, of, of my guy, you know, like this, walking around in his brown robe are always the funniest. It's so weird. Oh, so she's like, she's like, what up? Why don't you come back here in the back room? I'll give you your laundry. I've got some dirty, dirty laundry for you. And look at that. It's the weird slave guy we saved earlier. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting bonked on the head. Dragged into the back room. What's wrong with her face? Yeah, I mean, what's wrong with all the characters in this game? So now I'm in the back room, and now someone's rescuing me. Uh, Open that door. Yeah. And look at that. It's my friend, the slave. And now he's like, I'm out. But before I leave, I want to get this walking stick. And now I've done that. Okay. After that little aside, we go back up to... Ghirardelli Square, which I believe is right here. Yep. And now... I believe I want to climb up this rope. What is this? So oh, it's a rat paw. It's flipping everybody off. Look at that. Flip all your friends off with a severed rat hand. And then what's in here? Oh, murder. Oh, well... Just back up here, and then we'll, uh, we will climb up the rope, and we'll, we'll walk across this wooden board, and guess what we have here? It's a freaking stupid-ass minigame. Oh, look. So, basically, you have to, you know... Go across and up, and you have to like follow the path, right? If you if you try to go across any broken paths, you'll fall. And if one of those sparks hits you, you'll fall. See how far I can make it here. Or up, uh, right there. And I'm not gonna do this whole thing because it's dumb. It's basically a remake of a. Uh, um, it's it's it. There was a puzzle just like this in in the first Manhunter, and it's 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 they're both dumb. So. Here we go. You get up to the top there, and you find this body hanging off the sign, right? You're like, oh, a ring. Great. But then you get shocked, because that's what happens. And then you die. Oh, that guy has a shocking personality. You guys are such great writers. Murray's... Why does your game have such scant text, I wonder? So, the actual solution is to use this walking stick that I just got from the laundromat to take the ring... And it has this symbol. And, uh, yeah. Now I've got this ring with the symbol that will inevitably pop up later. And now I can just fall down. And, uh, and leave. And now, I can go to the shop. shop. There was a shop that I was at earlier, if you'll remember. And this guy wanted, uh, well, well, he was looking at this finger, this rat finger, right? And I'm supposed to take that as a clue that he wants the, uh, the rat's paw. And he says, oh my god, yes, I want that rat's paw. I want it to flip me off all day. And now I can play his game, now that I've given him something that he wants, right? And what we have to do is find the ace. It's one of these, like, psh, 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 you know, like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't know where it is. I actually, I think it's, I think it's this one. No. Guess what? 
Here's the magic of having saved the game. All right, and now it's over there and there. And it's uh, right here, right? Yeah. All right. He does this thing where he like bumps them and it, it's hard to tell where it where it lands when he does that. I think it's there, yep. And then you win. You win a prize, either a lantern or a flashlight, but you can also press enter to keep playing, which is what you want to do. Cause he offers you better prizes. Which I have I have uh, no idea how you would how you would know that. But, oh, whoops. All right. Oh, dear. I think it's this one. Ah, oh, I'm so bad at this. All right. One more. And I believe it's that one uh, right there. Yep, cool. Hell yeah, hardcore saves coming. And now I he offers, offers me the choice between two stupid masks. I want to take this one with the eye holes. And then I want to... Uh, go back to the club where the guy pulled me through the peephole. I believe it was right here. No, right here. Yeah. I want to wear the mask, all right. Incognito, hell yeah. And he's like, oh, you look like you belong here. You freaking Looney Tunes character. All right. Like, what up? We're playing a game. You want to play two? This is not at all conspicuous. Look at this. Look at that code on that hand. UNNC. What are the odds it's going to come in handy later? Hmm. He's like, all right. We're going to roll some dice. All right, I won. Hell yeah. And now he's like, well, you, this is what you gotta do now that I won. <laughs> and this guy's like, oh yeah, well. All right, and he's like, yeah, yeah, you gotta do that some more. And uh, you know, you can just imagine what he's doing. And this is like that, that, that Twilight Zone episode where he has to light the lighter 10 times where he chops his finger off, so. That's what just happened, I guess. He didn't really seem to mind. Uh, and now you're like, uh, I guess I'll throw the dice. Uh, and they're like, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait. What the hell? Oh, you're just, you're just a not rat. But guess what? Guess what I have? Guess what I have to distract him? Yes. So they're like, oh, we want that. We definitely want that. I want to get this axe. And then I want to get the hell out of here. Alright, cool. Well. Whew. What a weird game. Now, obviously, I want to go back to Giratelli Square, because why not? And I want to climb right back up that this uh, this rope, and then I want to 
I don't know why it's like I don't know why it's like inner window. Wouldn't the window be there? It's it's weird. But I want to go in this window. And he goes in, and for some reason, my guy, being the idiot that he is, just falls completely down the stairs into the basement, down like four stories, breaks every bone in his body, and is an invalid for the rest of his life. All right. So let's see. We got this. Got that weird symbol. Guess what? It's the same symbol that's on the ring. So we're going to use that to open it. I'm going to save the game right here just because this is ridiculous. Okay, we're going to crawl through this random tunnel and onto the other side of the earth. Meanwhile, ah, look, it, it, it's it's Phil Cool. Look at that. He's got, I don't know, what's going on. Metal Gear. All right, so, uh, if we're just, oh, we're f falling through. Fallen out of bounds. So, uh, we've fallen on Phil Cool, and oh, geez, this is awkward. What is happening here? Oh my god, Phil Cool's a robot. Oh, geez, oh. He just threw me off a cliff. All right, well. Well, I have to go and, um, nice of you dropping for dinner. All right, I've got to go pick up this thing. Is, is Can I not? Okay, here, I'm going to restore back to this. Sorry, we have to watch it again. Because I have to, there, he drops like an orb on the ground uh, that I have to get in the, the small amount of time I have here. Meanwhile, again... Look at him. I don't even know what he's doing. He's got like a... He's, he's the king of the, the, the rat dogs. You're the dog now, man. Gonna fall through the geometry again. Out, clip through the wall, out of bounds. Right. Ah, oh, look at that! How awkward. I'm gonna save my game right here, and hopefully. Okay, and I'll grab that. Oh, and it's a little orb on a stick. Look at that, and angry robot Phil Cool was, he's really angry. Oh no. I exploded his arm and now he's gonna throw me to the rat dogs. Okay. And now, uh, I want to obviously stun them with the camera, right? And now he leaves, oh look at that. Oh, this guy, ah, oh, no problem there. Just freaking do a flying kick and then squeeze out of the pipe. Okay, cool. All right, and now, let's go back to this Ghirardelli Square uh, incident. And now, now I want to... I want to track that guy. Now I want to track him. See what happens with him. Yeah, and why couldn't he do that for the stupid rat minigame? I don't know. Why can't he just do this for everything? Nonsense minigames. Ugh.
Thank God there wasn't a Manhunter 3. They probably couldn't... They couldn't figure out how to get all this nonsense to work in the SCI engine. <laughs> Alright, so now we got a little... little altercation happening. Now this guy's... This guy's heading away. And now he's going somewhere else. He's going to the Wax Museum. Back where we saw all those exhibits. Talking about how great the orbs are. I had to hit that, the fish man with the fish hammer. And he's going over here to the second exhibit. And then... Uh, killing that guy, putting his body there, whatever he's doing. And now he goes to the third exhibit and up that chimney. Well, well, well. So now it is time to go to back to the wax museum. And once again, whack that guy with the mallet. <coughs> Head on in there. Over to the second exhibit. And look at that. A new body. Look at that. Oh, no. What happened with this guy? What do we got? We have white thread. We saw a needle with white thread on a desk somewhere. That was supposed to be a clue for... For, uh... For, for something... Guess what? We can use this fang. Somehow you're supposed to know this. To cut the tie open. And then we get... Um, inside there is, is, is an ID card. It's cool, like... ID. Okay, so... So we... Uh, we got that. And also, yeah, this is Noah Goring. That scientist guy. That's supposed, who this is supposed to be. Um... And, you know, that dude went up into the, into the chimney, but, uh, you know, he murders you if you, if you do that, so don't do that. And now I want to get out of here, and I want to go to, uh, where's it, Hyde Street Park, where is it, or Hyde Street Pier, I'm sorry. Uh, and we're gonna go down, down here again. Watch out for landmines. And then, uh, go up here to the pier. And then, uh, wait, what's up here? Climb up, just, just hump that pier. And I have, what is it? Is it my, oh, it's the hatchet that I got. Would I LARP Manhunter in my youth? Hell no. I've never LARPed. It's never a thing I was into. I always thought it was weird. Like all the like vampire, the masquerade LARPing and stuff. I never, I was never into that. So I have managed to get up uh, <sighs> inside of a box that I just, smashed a hole in the bottom of and I'm stowing away in this box somehow it's still intact enough for this robot to load it onto what looks like a freaking cruise ship because we are going to Alcatraz how far along am I uh, I am very far along I'm we're close to the end of the game here so it's really entertaining to just watch this robot load all of these crates onto this boat one by one. This is a really enthralling cutscene, if you could call it that, and I'm sure glad it happened. <laughs> I did think LARPing was weird, yeah. <laughs> and now 
now we're gonna watch this boat sail in real time over to Alcatraz. Yep. It'll just be a few more hours. And now, guess what we get to watch? We get to watch the robot freaking unload this cruise ship and walk this box all the way to the end. It couldn't just be in that building right there in front. No, no, they had to take it all the way through. They had to show you his process. Okay, it feels more real. And AR does know he hasn't. I should do that one day. Yep, yep, nothing more entertaining than watching this little pixel deliver another pixel over to that set of pixels on the far end of the screen. <laughs> yeah, watch that robot unload, that's right. Oh, this is just non- Oh, I was hoping we would have to watch him walk all the way to the boat and unload every single uh every single box okay i want to now use the hatchet to smash my way out of this right all right there we go coast is clear nothing but us boxes in here yeah oh won't be needing that anymore just hurl it right into the wall I love that your guy is such a moron in this game. He just falls all over the place. So, so now, now um, we're gonna look at. Well, here we'll look at a couple of them. So there's like a bunch of, a bunch of weird looking like, a bunch of weird looking like monster guys. The important one though is this one. And if you recall. That when I smoked that pipe at that guy's house, he had a vision of a woman that turned into a monster, and that monster is his daughter, and he gave me that statue, right? Where's that statue? Oh my god, and she sees it, and she remembers it, and she's like, now I, now we are friends, okay? And now we want to open these cells, and... We want to put this this card in that we we got this orb card, <clears throat> and that'll open all the cells. Yeah, the butt face monster. That's the one. And uh... oh, oh right. Oh, and I need to hold up my orb on a stick to be like, oh, yep, ID checks out. <laughs> Just like Space Quest Three. All right. Yep. Totally, totally good security here in the monster lab. And now she grabs me and we run off, right? And now she's like, let's, let's get the hell out of here. And all these goofy like Ninja Turtles figure rejects are running off to go, to go do whatever it is they do. This is just ridiculous. All right. So now these guys are... I mean, I guess, are they, are they jumping in the water? What's going on? I don't know. She's like, all right, you escape in this hot air balloon. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, bye-bye. I'm going to go kill people. All right, great. And now, here I am stuck in this hot air balloon. Where I, uh... Need to turn this valve, and then I need to uh, get some matches and uh, and light this thing, and there we go. Uh, the real Manhunter was the one that when you crash land your ship at the beginning, you crush him like the Wicked Witch, and then you find his ID and basically steal his identity because you've accidentally killed him. <laughs> All right, that's that's what happened. Yeah. 
yeah, this is it's it's actually kind of hard to have any kind of grasp on what's happening. The only reason I can explain it to the, re the degree I can is because I played through it already. So, so yeah. So here, if you'll remember, the castle is the gateway to hell. That was a hint I was given earlier. And if you'll notice, that uh, that little castle tower there. Yeah, that's uh. Ooh, I actually didn't build in a skip for this. So I gotta do it for real. Uh oh, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Ooh, ooh, ooh maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. Cool. Okay, so now, suit's falling, 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 falling. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, he fell right onto this orb and smashed it. Okay, cool. That's gross. Well, this is all happening. The uh, oh, the monster guys that you freed from the uh, from the cages are all like, "All right, it's time for murder." <laughs> so we're gonna make these guys pay by just smashing them into into globs of slime. Look, watch this, watch this. <laughs> this guy's like, whoa, this is gonna be good. <laughs> she just freaking bombs the whole building. <laughs> and then that, that, oh God. <laughs> it's like the end of Watchmen. The spoilers. The comic book. So, so now, um, now here I am. Uh, now this sequence right here is really completely, completely stupid. What you have here, I mean, I'll just, I'll just show you. Uh, what you have to do is you have all these all these gates, right? And you want to close all these gates, and you do that to like control the lava flow, because lava will flow into like some rooms, right? And so you want to close all the gates, and. So I gotta just do this. Did I mention there's no mouse support in this game? This was before they had mouse support. It's really annoying. Okay. And then you want to take all these slaves, right? You're trying to free the slaves here. And there's this room called <laughs> slavery. Okay. So all these little blue squares are where slaves are at. So you can take them and move them. So I'm just gonna move them in a clump here. And you're trying to move them to the right room. And here, and they're all in the same room, in that one, that one specific room. And then there's all these robots, they're the bad guys. And I want to move, move all the robots down into one room as well. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the valve and flood the, uh, the room the robots are in with lava. And it's going to be this room right here. And then there's certain there's certain uh, doors I have to open, which I, I don't remember which ones they are. Um, so I'm just gonna like restore the hell control panel skip, which answers that question for me. And and now 
once all the correct doors are open, this lava will, will flood, from, see from this, this yellow room here? It'll flood over here, and that's the room where the robots are at, right? And it'll kill the robots. And we will free, and then we, we free the slaves. <coughs> So all the, ro the the lava floods in here and just blows up the whole thing. Meanwhile, the the rat people. Oh, look at this! Leisure suit Larry. Oh my God! Naked ladies. All the rat people are turning back into regular people. Right. Um. And now they're. They're, uh, yeah, they're, they're people again. Yep. Yeah, they sure are. Oh, this dude, this dude's a person again. That's super creepy. Yep, all these guys. Look, apparently all the, there's just, like, white women here. That's all. The only, the only, the only, uh, only the men are not white. All the women are, though. Okay, all the rat people, they're all cool, they're all, they're all human again. They're all naked humans walking down the streets of San Francisco. Nothing unusual about this. And then we got Alien Lady, who's the one non-white lady, and she gets to have clothes. So, I mean, I guess that's cool. Great. And now all the robots are swimming in lava, and they're all, all these orbs, they're all dead. So I've saved the day. And now, what I want to do now that I've done that, because this sequence makes so much sense, is I take this this blue cube and I put it over here in this room because the there was some clue about putting the slaves in hell and then they'll take you to freedom or whatever. And this room is called hell. So, um... Now they'll take me to freedom. And yeah, I am sort of... My play-by-play -play is sort of like how a child's telling their parents about video game mechanics. They're really stupid mechanics. They're bad. Um, you have to get rid of the robots before you move the slaves there. like a whole logic, a whole insane logic to this puzzle. So yeah, just like the end of the first game, these guys are like, yeah, you're our hero, man. We're taking you to freedom. You get it? This room is called freedom. Let's put you in this drill machine and then, you know, we'll, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And and then there was a password. It's like U N N C, right? And then we we hit. Oops. We hit that, and then the screen comes on. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> and then oh boy, guys, this sucks. This is bad. This is very very bad. Um. I'm actually going to pull up an image here that I'm going to I'm going to show you how bad this is. Hold on. I I actually forgot to put this image in my list here. So Okay. So, here it is. This is the maze. And that is the path through it. This is actually, as you'll see here, you'll compare right there. That's my screen to the whole maze. It's four screens. I think that's four screens. Um, and I have to follow this path, right? Oops, wrong one. Um, so if I, you know, if I go the wrong way, I, I hit the lava and I die, right? Oops. So, and the controls are such 
that when I just kind of tap like left arrow, right, tap, it goes sort of quite a ways and it's a little bit unpredictable. So, so I have to like um, sort of really be very, very ginger about it, <laughs> uh, very gingerly about it. And the whole thing is just, uh, it's, it's unreasonable. So here we are. Do, 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 do. Uh, this whole thing is just hellish. And it's kind of made so that you kind of have to go through like the longest, most annoying path. Um, right. See if I can show you where I got friggin' stuck earlier. And yeah, this is definitely, yes, this is true hell. Yes, that is, that is what this is. So it's just a bunch of safes coming, really. That's all we're doing here. And I'm trying to see kind of where where I'm at based on my map here, because I have a map open in the other screen, because there's no other frigging way to do this. So, so see right here, like I have to get up and between those. And it's just it's it's un, it's it's such an unreasonable ask, right? I can use diagonals. Ooh, actually that that kind of worked. Oops. Um And like you have to get up through through that. See that triangle right there to my right? Ooh. Uh. Ugh. So I I've I've spent actually right before I finished recording, I was trying to get through this. It's so bad. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh. Ooh, I got through that. Do those little pixels count? Oh, no, they don't. Those, those don't count as lava, I guess. So, so you're going through just this stupid... Stupid, uh, route. Hold on. Blow my map up here so I can see what I'm doing. It's just the stupidest, mo most annoying route. Um, oh, and I actually have to go. Down here. Down here. And then around that. Ugh. And and this is like this is the end of the game, right? This is the last, like, I, I believe. Well, god damn it. And it's like this stupid pixel hunt, but like, yeah, this is this is like the last puzzle, quote unquote, in the game. Ugh. And this is just not a great way to to end your game, I I, I would say.
Ugh. You just get to the next screen and immediately crash. It's annoying. So, so yeah, I the, like I'm now further than I got uh, before I I started streaming. I I wasn't able to make a skip for this because I just got frustrated and gave up, pretty much. Have I gone the wrong way? I go up. I have to do this. No, this is the right way. Oh god. Oh god. Oof. Oh god. Ugh. So if I can get up through through here. Right. That's that right there. Right above to my, the upper right here. Up. Oh. That's the end. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Phil Cool is very angry. He's like, I, you did it again. You've beaten my plot, whatever it was. No one really knows. And now he's like, I'm, I'll show you, I'm going to leave again. Uh, I'll show you, I'm going to flee. It's off to some other place here. Oh, and you're hanging onto his ship. You're like in space. There's like a Mega Man 2 style the end. The end question mark? Just take that question mark off. That's the end. There, let's turn the sound off. That is how this uh the series ends with Poop and Threadbear hanging on to Phil Cool's ship for dear life. Yeah. Phil Cool was victorious in the end. He was like I'll show you. I'm going to fly off to a sequel that never happens. Owned. So, so yeah, that's it. Oh, look, what is this? Let's get a closer look. Oh, to be continued. Oh, and then the game just, just exits. That is Manhunter 2, San Francisco. Mercifully... The final chapter of the Manhunter series. Let's kickstart this. Let me give you a, a, a history of um, Sierra Revival Kickstarters. There was the Legion Shoot Larry 1 Reloaded Kickstarter, which was a success. And that game came out, and it was fine. There was a... Uh, uh, a, a Kickstarter for a, a spiritual successor to Police Quest by Jim Walls called Precinct that failed. There was a Kickstarter for a game called Hero U Rogue to Redemption from the Quest for Glory creators. That was a success and actually did come out. And I don't, I've, I've not played it, but I know it's very different from Quest for Glory. Um... There was the Space Venture Kickstarter from the Space Quest guys. That was funded, and we're still waiting on the game. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, there was like a there was going to be a Kickstarter for a Sierra documentary, and there was a kick there was a Kickstarter, and that also failed. So Kickstarters for Sierra revivals and Sierra related projects, they're very hit and miss. I don't necessarily think the world uh, is going to be clamoring for a Manhunter 3. So, yeah, we probably better not. And am I, am I a P and C expert? What is P, P and C? I don't know. What, what is that? I don't know. I don't know that abbreviation. Maybe I do, but I just don't know. I, I don't recognize it. 
point and click. Am I? Oh, I am a point and click expert. I guess. I mean, like the majority of my adventure game experience is Sierra and Lucas Arts. There's a few other scattered things here and there, but there are way more well-rounded adventure game fans than me. In any case, that is Manhunter Two. And, you know, next week after this, with this finished, um, next week is Quest for Glory 1, so you want to be a hero. The, the EGA 16-color uh, Sierra Creative Interpreter version. I'm going to save. I'm going to do the VGA version separately. Uh, but that'll take us through the end of 1989. And... Uh, and then after that, it's on to the 1990s, where we will start with Codename Iceman. And whew, boy, that's a bad game. How would I rate what out of 10? This game, Manhunter 2 or Quest for Glory 1? Because uh, this game is, mm, this is one of the very stupidest Sierra games. This one, Manhunter 2 San Francisco, if I do say so myself. <laughs> It's pretty bad. This is probably the wrong engine for uh, for these games. Both of these games are, are not great. So, but I finally got through it. I know some of you really wanted to see this one for whatever reason. You were looking forward to it, but yeah, that there that's the uh, the untimely end of Poop and Threadbare and Phil Cool. And that is it. That's it for this episode of Sierra Saturdays here on a Sunday for you Twitch peoples. Saturday as usual for YouTube. Uh, whether you watch me on Twitch or YouTube, uh, I appreciate it. You can support me by subscribing to my channels, Geekboxing on both Twitch and YouTube. Uh, and you can cheer me on Twitch. You can. There are some tip jars for uh, stream elements and Patreon down in the links below on both sites if you if you uh, like what I do. There are, at this point, 16 more episodes, back episodes of this show to watch uh, covering all of Sierra's games back through you know, starting at King's Quest 1 and going forward. Here we are at Manhunter 2. And, yeah, I just hope you, hope you uh, appreciate what I'm doing here. It's fun. But that is it, and I will be back next time for Quest for Glory 1, a.k.a. Hero's Quest, so you want to be a hero. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>